BBC Radio 4's highbrow arts show Front Row makes its TV debut on Saturday on BBC Two, but it has already found itself at the center of controversy after a new interview with the presenters has revealed that none of them are fans of the theater. New Corey pictures show a huge wedding fountain fight between Eva and Maria one of the major subjects they will need to discuss each week. When the BBC announced the move to the small screen for Front Row, which focuses on the worlds of arts, literature, film, media and music, they promised a fresh and intelligent new topical arts show designed to provide real journalistic depth and insight to our arts coverage. But with Giles Corrin, Nikki Beattie and Amol Rajan all revealing the different ways that they do not enjoy the theater, it has left the BBC under pressure to explain why they have hired three presenters who will not be able to bring real insight into the country's flourishing theater scene. I've not been to the theater much in the past six or seven years, Corin told the Radio Times. Emmerdale star teases explosive details on Killer Emma's shocking exit I've always found the theater stressful. New theater no. Nikki Beattie, a former actress turned TV presenter was also asked about her love of film over theater, admitting that she resents going to the theater and not having an interval for two hours and 45 minutes while a mole rage and revealed his newborn baby mean that he doesn't get to go anymore. I want more intervals, said Nikki before admitting that she does love tight, fast-paced creative theater that moves away from tradition. I love musical theater, revealed a mole, adding that he recently saw Dream Girls, and in New York City several years ago he saw Andrew Lloyd Webber's School of Rock. Corin also had issue with the seats in the theater. Why is it that in the theater the seats are never as comfortable as the cinema, and his concerns that the actors on stage are just some kids trying to remember their lines and not get fired? Deanery's knew Jon Snow's real name and purpose Alastair Smith, editor of The Stage, one of the oldest and most respected theater publications in the UK, told Metro.co.uk I hope this proves to be a false alarm, and the show itself is a huge success but it's a bit strange that none of the front row radio presenters, who know about and like theater, are involved. The team they have announced for the TV version are all good broadcasters, but I can't imagine a Top Gear presenter, even in jest, saying I don't really like cars, I prefer to walk. A BBC spokesperson said in a statement theater review and discussion will be a prominent part of front row on BBC Two and the presenters are looking forward to reacquainting themselves with the best that British theatre has to offer. The series will feature guests who regularly attend and review the theatre. More police find real dead body on set of BBC crime drama relic more BBC boss defends loophole keeping strictly come dancing and Doctor Who star salary secret more BBC axe a cappella show pitch battle after one series.